So this is the Panasonic Lumix DMC FX33, a rather stylish and pocketable camera uh, from way back in 2007. Now this is a sorry looking example and uh, to that uh, purpose I shall be using this uh, bottle of IPA, that's isopropylic alcohol, to clean up all the smudges and the leftover scratched paint. Hopefully beneath there is a metal um, housing which will look better than in its current uh, estate. I will try to zoom in and focus so you can see what I'm actually on about. Yeah, so there it is. It's pretty rough looking, but that's okay because I only paid two euros for this example. Now this is just out of sheer curiosity and for your presentation only. It's not meant to be a you know, um, well, a collector's item at any rate. It's a little rough, or it's a lot rough around the edges actually. So you can start it up and it really works, but uh, it's having some troubles with this, uh, uh, this uh, mechanism here, the cover, uh, the lens cover. It's also pretty grimy and dirty. It's actually this, this uh, this strap <laughs> actually grosses me out. I have cleaned it before, both the camera and the strap, but it's still looking uh, sorry for itself. So I think I'm just going to throw this piece away and uh, see what what we're left with. So, so as you can see, I have had my uh, try at cleaning this camera with the IPA solution. Um, I got some mixed results. Uh, some of the stains were removed. Um, well, not stains, but really the paint itself was dissolved by the is isopropylic alcohol, but not all of it. I've been trying for the last 10 minutes. I really got bored with it. I don't really think this camera is worth all that attention. Um, I can uh, try to clean it off with some classic alcohol in order to uh, have it more presentable for the camera and I shall be doing just that in a few moments so bear with me just a dash of alcohol there we go so some scratches and scuffs on the sides and on the top but then again this camera is made in Japan so it's got to be worth something, right? It turns out just fine, as I've explained before, but the springs on the uh, lens protection mechanism don't really work all that well each time. They seem to be working fine right now. And speaking of which, I better clean off the lens as well, because it's looking pretty grimy and sorry for itself. So. At any rate, this is not the method recommended to clean the lens, but seeing as this is quite a bad looking camera and looking worse for wear, you know, the deal, it's not really worth anything, so I'm not taking extra care with it. So it's r looking rather nice and I used to love these cameras before, way back when, due to their construction. Now. Panasonic Lumix uh, lineup wasn't all that great between 2000 and 2010. They were up there, but uh, really uh, their uh, build quality and their battery life and their attention to detail, that was their strong point, not really their image prowess. Um, for that you had Sony, Canon and even Olympus even for these soapbox cameras, these compact digital ones, not speaking about DSLRs or stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this is the battery door and while I'm at it, I should just insert this uh, card and see what we can record with this um, camera. Now, again, uh, not a lot of modes or uh, complex settings here, but you do get scenery, macro, and even an easy mode, an intelligent auto mode. And to that regard, I sh shall be taking this pet rock that I have here. No, it's not a pet rock. I'm just joking. It's a piece of... Uh, 
um, rock from a beach that I found somewhere in Greece and I like it very much and I just keep it on my desk so I will sh sh I should be able to take a picture of this uh, model rock right now and I'll put it in macro mode let's try to capture some detail in the background so actually not bad results but I'll put a picture in the video so you can see for yourselves now then the video let's try to record some video now this is playback let's see motion picture okay there we are so coming in on this rather uh, interesting looking rock while recording I'm curious as to what my voice will sound on camera I will not move um, my position so you will be able to hear uh, my voice from a distance of about uh, half a foot or 20 to 25 centimeters something like that so there, there we go the camera recording on an FX 33 Panasonic Lumix camera. So yeah, there we go. The Panasonic Lumix FX33. I was absolutely madly in love with these gadgets, but way back in 2010 or so, I still tried using using them. I thought they were the business. <laughs> Obviously, I was wrong. Um, they're just barely scratching. Uh, the surface in terms of picture quality but they're okay i guess and really they're mostly uh <clears throat> they're most uh, impressive in terms of build quality and the general feel the premium feel that they exude uh, to that regard i have a bunch of lumix cameras check the reviews out uh, i will put a link here and well i guess uh, if you are looking for strange, quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this FX33 Panasonic Lumix camera, I am your guy. So stick around for more pointless and potentially fun nostalgic videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.